Sure, Joe Fine, I think, has the profile that a lot of very successful driven uh, business executives and entrepreneurs have, and that is a healthy dose of narcissism. But I think above that, he uh, also has a, a healthy dose, or maybe an unhealthy dose is really a better way to put it, of sadism. Uh, I think sometimes people who have a lot of narcissism get very frustrated at times, and that frustration boils over into acts of, of sadistic cruelty, and I think that that's on display in the movie. Yeah, one of the really amazing things about this story, and I think it really uh, taps into a vein of truth that uh, will resonate with a lot of people, uh, is that people who have been abused uh, are also very resilient. And in fact, some of the great uh, leaders in our time have very traumatic childhoods. Uh, they've been treated badly, but uh, because of a variety of factors that they have intrinsic to themselves, they're very resilient. And uh, so being abused in no way necessarily uh, inhibits successful development later on. On the other hand, it can cause a lot of damage too. Well, sadly, it, it often does take a cataclysmic event, uh, really hitting bottom, to get people like Joe Fine into treatment, into getting help. Uh, one of the things I suppose that other Joe Fines out there should do is to see this movie, uh, because among other things, it will uh, help uh, heighten their sensitivity and heighten the sensitivity of those around them to the fact that this is a disaster waiting to happen or happening. Um, it's unfortunate because these kinds of high-powered narcissistic businessmen are often in denial about the consequences of their behavior on others, and so it does take, unfortunately, seeing some really terrible consequences to, uh, to motivate them. You know, the idea of keeping home and work separate is often a myth. Uh, I mean, it's an ideal that I think we talk about and uh, we strive for sometimes, but it never really works because we are just one person. And as much as we try to put up a wall between them, it usually fails. And so we tend to bring home problems to work and we tend to bring work problems home. Uh, and what also happens is that there's a bit of a you know kicking the dog kind of phenomenon that goes on that people who have work frustrations will sometimes come home and take it out on those who are in positions of dependency, uh, whether it's the dog or more likely uh, members of the family. Well, there's actually a psychoanalytic term called reaction formation, and it's a fancy way of describing uh, what happens in this movie. Frequently, uh, people who do something terrible feel very guilty about it, and um, they feel guilty after the fact, of course, not leading up to it. And so uh, there, there's a, a way of, they, they, they do the action which hurts, and then they try to undo it uh, by making nice. And um, you see this all the time, unfortunately, uh, since it's a pattern, the first few times they make nice, it tends to work. It's, a, it's like an apology. Uh, but after a while, you know, apologies will only get you so far, and the behavior uh, really has cumulative, uh, you know, ca catastrophic kinds of effects. And so the, the attempts to undo it ultimately fail. There's a well known psychological phenomenon. Uh, that's often referred to as identification with the aggressor. In other words, it's doing unto others precisely what was done to you. It's the opposite of the golden rule, in a sense, uh, or a negative version of that. And so people who've been abused often grow up to be abusers. Um, it, it's not unlike the way uh, people who've suffered at the hands of totalitarian regimes become totalitarian-like uh, themselves. So it's a way of passing on trauma, unfortunately. And so I think the way to, to try to interrupt that vicious cycle, it's a terrible cycle, is first of all by raising awareness about it. Um, if you uh, make this phenomenon conscious to people who are, in, in a sense, acting it out unconsciously, that's the beginning of not only raising awareness, but ultimately interrupting the cycle.